Dear viewers, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Today we are going to discuss about alien life, life besides earth. For years scientists have been trying to document life beyond the earth, but yet they have not been successful to document any life form beyond the earth. Today we are going to discuss about what Quran says about the life beyond the earth. Is there life besides earth? Quran says in Surah Shura, Surah number 42, Ayat number 29, Allah says, وَمِنْ آيَاتِهِ خَلْقُ السَّمَوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ Amongst his science is the creation of the heavens and the earth. وَمَا بَسَّ فِيهِمَا مِنْ دَابَّ And what he has scattered throughout them of creatures, means he has scattered uh, creatures throughout the universe. So there are other beings, living beings besides this earth also which is mentioned in the Quran in Surah Shura, Surah number 42, Ayat number 29, that there is life besides this earth. So now the question comes, whether life in different forms do exist besides this earth, that is confirmed in the Quran. But do intelligent life exist besides this earth or not? For that we have to go to another verse of the Quran. Quran says in Surah Talaq, Surah number 65, Ayat number 12, Allah says, Allahu Lazi Khalaqa Sab'a Samawatin That it is Allah who created the seven, uh, seven heavens Wa minal ardi mislahunna And of earth, a similar number. So the Quran says that there are earths besides this earth. So there are many earths. So seven doesn't mean literal seven. It, it can mean there are many many earths. So in this words of the Quran which is Surah Talaq, Surah number 65, Ayat number 12, Allah says, وَمِنَ الْأَرْضِ مِسْلَهُنَّ And earth of a similar number which means there are many earths with maybe with uh, similar climate, similar conditions, maybe with similar life, intelligent life or life maybe in some other form may, which may be similar to human beings or maybe different to human beings. So which is mentioned in the Quran. But Quran doesn't tell uh, the type of species which is existing, but it says creatures. So, Quran is a book of science, it is a book of ayats. So, what we do, we classify species based on our knowledge of the uh, characteristics of different uh, species. So, that's our job to do. But the Quran gives us the idea and the facts it mentions. So, the fact that there are other earths has been mentioned in the Quran in Surah Talaq, Surah number 65, Ayat number 12, which says, وَمِنَ الْأَرْضِ مِسْلَهُنَّ And of earth, there are, uh, there is a similar number. So, there are many earths besides this earth. Quran says in Surah Shura, Surah number 42, Ayat number 29, Allah says, وَهُوَ عَلَىٰ جَمْعِهِمْ إِذَا يَشَاءُ قَدِيرٌ And of gathering them, Allah says, okay, He is capable. When he wills, he is capable of gathering them together. Which means the different creatures which are existing throughout the universe, if Allah wants, he can gather them. One meaning is that he can gather them on the day of judgment. The other meaning, if we take that, that he, when he wills, he can gather them together, which means there can be a communication between them. This meaning can be taken from this ayat. That means there can be an alien contact also if we have to take the other meaning, which may or may not happen if we like to take the other meaning. وَهُوَ عَلَىٰ جَمْعِهِمْ إِذَا يَشَاءُ قَدِيرٌ That when he wills, he can gather them together, which means there can be the gathering of the different creatures which exist throughout the universe. Allah can gather them together on the day of judgment or whether if we like to take another meaning, which can mean that there can be a contact with the alien life, intelligent life also. So. Besides that, we know about the spiritual beings like the angels who have been created from light. But here we are talking about our this universe, the physical universe, where we know what is the matter and all. So, in this life, in this universe only, there exists life besides earth, which is known to us in the Quran, which is a fact which is mentioned in the Quran. But yet for science we have to discover, we have to still document that there is life uh, on other planets. It, it, as of now, as of now even, we have not been able to document any form of life, whether it be unicellular or whatever, even the 
low forms of life we have not been able to discover as of now but the quran mentions that there are uh, there are li life forms beside this earth and there are earths also similar planets which are quran are, says earth only they are similar to earth so there are similar planets uh, to earth which exist quran says in surah talaq surah number 65 ayat number 12 allah says allah allazi khalaqa sab'a samawatin wa min al ard mislahunna that it he, it is allah who has created the seven earth, heavens and of earth a similar number so allah has created earth of a similar number which means there are many earths which allah has created quran also says which is in surah fatiha allah says alhamdulillahi rabbil alamin praise be to allah the lord of the worlds the sustainer of the worlds alamin which is the plural of alam which means there are many worlds so if we take meaning that alamin which means like a, a planet which is having a life or there are worlds other worlds which are having life so if we take that meaning that means there are many worlds the other meaning which we can take from this is alhamdulillah rabbil alamin that there are many universes different universes as of now there has theory have been put forward regarding multiverses parallel universes beside our own universe quran says that there are many alam alam it can mean world or universes also it can mean that there are different alam which can have its own set of laws different from others we don't know so many theories have been put forward like string theory and theory regarding the multiverses and it has been subjected to debate this topic of multiverses in scientific community so we know uh, uh, that concept is there uh, is still in the quran that alhamdulillah allah says alhamdulillah rabbil alamin praise be to allah who is the lord of the sustainer of the worlds of different worlds different alams different maybe different universes which may exist so we don't know as of now we don't know about the other universes if they exist or not but theories have been put forward so quran is very clear regarding that there is other life besides this earth also but we have not been able to document even lowly life forms even unicellular organisms we haven't been able to document that but quran mentioned mentions it as a fact that there is life beside this earth there are living creatures beside this earth and there are uh, planets similar to earth also there exists so life may exist there but as of now we don't know exactly but quran mentions that quran also gives the concept of multiverses which is parallel universes other universes as of now we know very little and how much we can know how much we can go further in science we'll see in future quran says in surah ghafir surah number 40 ayat number 57 allah says la khalqus samawati wal ardi akbaru min khalqin nas that in the in the creation of the heavens and the earth is greater or is a greater matter than the creation of men walakin aksar nas la ya'lamun but most of men do not know so the creation of the heavens and the, and the earth is of a great, greater matter than the creation of the human beings so from this we know that the heavens and the earth is a great concern so there are yet many secrets which are there in the universe which we don't know quran says wama utitum min al ilmi illa qalila that of the knowledge of the ilm you have been given very little little we have been able to document in the universe as of now we cannot even till now only the humans have reached only up till the moon and the and single galaxy which has billions of billions of stars like our sun our sun far bigger than our sun in a galaxy in a single galaxy there is so much to explore to know what exist what lurks around in the this galaxy or in the other galaxies besides our galaxy milky way so there is so much to research to know but as of now we know very little about the universe so further we are going to take up topics regarding uh, the different sciences or the scientific topics which quran deals with we'll be making inshallah more video on that wama alaina illa al balagh